Dog meat festival in Asia, it's prompting protests around the world. One Indiana company is now taking action. They took action last night, saving three dogs all the way from South Korea. The now's Candace Aviles met with this woman behind the rescue to learn more about what she is hoping to accomplish. Candace? Well, more than 10,000 dogs are killed for the dog meat festival in Asia when the owner of Lucky Lab Rescue based out of Louisville, Indiana, learned of this daunting number. She says her only option was taking action. Good boy. These dogs were supposed to be somebody's dinner, and instead they're, they're now here in the United States, and they're going to be going to great adoptive homes. Meet Daisy, Cannon, and Nikon, the two yellow labs and golden retriever landing safely in Indiana Saturday night. To pull these dogs off of that conveyor belt and away from that plane was just so heartwarming, and we were so enlightened last night just to be able to save these three dogs. Lucky Lab Rescue President Kathy Martin working closely with a South Korean source to help as many dogs as possible. We don't even begin to touch you know, the devastation that's going on there with these dogs. I mean, this is, you know, this is three dogs out of thousands of thousands of dogs that die in South Korea every year, you know, in their, their meat farms. Martin says she first saw pictures of dog meat farms two years ago. The images stuck in her memory, inspiring her to take action. We have saved over 4,000 dogs. And so you just, you never get tired of this. You know, that, that feeling just never leaves you. And so to see these three dogs here with us gives gives us just hope. It gives us hope that one day that this practice will end and that these dogs won't have to suffer this cruelty. But she says big change won't happen without more help. The mission is 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 for awareness because you know us by ourselves we are not going to end this. And so the only way that that we can end this is by, you know, bringing the awareness, bringing this attention to this issue and hopefully, you know, getting other people on board to help save these dogs. As for Daisy, Cannon and Nikon, all three are healthy, spayed and ready for a new home. I'm pretty sure that they won't be around very long because they're gorgeous and they're very, very nice dogs. Now, again, all three dogs are completely vetted, already spayed, and are vaccinated. If you're interested in adopting one of the dogs, we have a link to where you can submit an adoption application on our website, theindychannel.com, and on the RTV6 app.